So we got a couple pieces of news for you guys today on your Monday morning. Uh, a little bit of news regarding Call of Duty 2023, which is not really surprising to anybody. Uh, we also have a new developer for uh, EA that is announcing a new Marvel game, which is pretty crazy. So just a couple things to talk about here in this one. If you guys do enjoy this one, be sure to stick around for more. Do variety of gaming content here on the channel, gaming news, live let's plays, uh, you know, different things like that. Yeah, we talk about the games and play the games, kind of the best of both worlds. Also, huge thanks to anyone who came over to Kick and support us over there. We just hit affiliate status. Uh, it's it's within one week. It's pretty cool. It's been a lot of fun. If you don't know about Kick, uh, I just got on to it in the past week, and it's uh, it's been good, man. It's been a lot of fun, and. Uh, I really hope that they succeed so they, there's there's some you know good competition against Twitch because we all know that Twitch has been something else. Anyways, moving on from that, by the way, all the links are in the description below for anything related to anything. So all my other content, Nintendo channel, Kick, uh, Twitter, you know, social media, our community Discord, all that. If you're ever looking for that, it's in the uh, the description below. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this. So. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and throw it right up on screen. Again, this is no surprise. Coming from Insider Gaming, it says fans hungry for more information on Call of Duty 2023 will need to wait a little bit longer unless uh, if you're an NBA star, you can get the inside scoop right now. I don't know if any of you guys watching this are an NBA star, but if you are, maybe you've already played it. And I know you've signed an NDA, so you can't talk about it, but... Hopefully it's hopefully hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, over the weekend, players competing in the NBA Summer League in Las Vegas uh, are being given an exclusive look at the uh, at Call of Duty 2023, which could be revealed in full within the next month or so. This isn't the first time that this kind of reveal has happened behind closed doors, of course, on social media. A few players have shared images or videos uh, of the suite where the reveal is taking place, but nothing is given away. Uh, you know, bar the most basic logo imaginable. There are even uh, stations in the room that have been set up to play Call of Duty, uh, but shots indicate that players are sitting down with Warzone or Modern Warfare 2. So um, uh, apparently, I mean, no, no leaks or anything like that. They're playing it. There's been some other rumors going around um, that apparently it's, uh, you know, this, this new COD is Modern Warfare 3. Um, and that is just kind of to buy them time until Treyarch's next game next year. But that it would be so weird if that is the case, because I mean, from Modern Warfare 1 2019, that is the reboot, uh, until you know, Modern Warfare 2, we had what two or three years in between. So it'd be kind of weird that we go from Modern Warfare 2 straight to Modern Warfare 3. It almost feels like they were planning to skip this year, which I mean, I'm pretty sure that was the original reports, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then they were just like, oh, well, you know what? Let's let's not do that. Let's just uh, push out a game, another game this year. I would just rather them see, you know, see them uh, finally release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. Just give it to us, man. We want it. Everybody wants it. You know, they're I don't know what they're afraid of. Uh, I've seen a lot of devs say, oh, you know, you're not. It's not going to be the same. You know, it's going to feel different because you know nostalgia makes you remember things differently. That's not true, and I know that's not true because I went back and played Modern Warfare 2, uh, the original, on PC uh, a bunch just before Modern Warfare 2 2022 came out. Um, I, I played it a lot with a couple a couple of friends, uh, good friends of mine. So, I mean, it felt great. I'm like, man, please just give this to us and remaster and I'll be happy. You know, fresh servers are, is, are filled because servers are a little bit hard to find nowadays for the old Modern Warfare 2. Um, and we're good to go. So, I mean, dude, it's, yeah, it's not just a nostalgic thing. I mean, it's veterans who played it back in the day, I think would still be super hyped about it today. Um, it, the question is, would newer players, what would they think about it? And you can't let them dictate where it goes because listen, what made the old school Call of Duty's fun was just the way it was. Just release it as is, just remastered and we're good to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on from that. Uh, that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the next piece of news. <laughs> let me know if you guys think we'll ever, we'll ever actually see this or not, by the way, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, Remastered. So the next thing is Cliffhanger Games, which is a development studio um, out of uh, under EA, 
that uh, are producing a brand new Marvel game. They tweeted out the following, I'll throw it up on the screen, an all new Black Panther story begins here at Cliffhanger Games. We're a newly established EA studio developing an original single player Black Panther action adventure game, uh, exploring the world of Wakanda with Marvel games. To learn more, go to this website. If you go to this website, they just kind of reiterate a little bit of what they uh, said. They said that Cliffhanger apparently has been brought together, uh, has, sorry, has already brought together accomplished talent with leaders from the critically acclaimed and innovative action adventure game Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, along with veterans of top franchises, uh, including Inf uh, sir, excuse me, Halo Infinite, God of War, Call of Duty, and others. So now we know where some of the Halo Infinite devs went to, <laughs> which is cool. Um, they said we're dedicated to de delivering fans a definitive and authentic Black Panther experience, giving them more agency and control over their narrative uh, than they have ever experienced in a story-driven video game. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that, but you know. Wakanda is a rich superhero sandbox um, that, uh, sorry, and our mission is to develop an epic world for players who love Black Panther and want to explore the world of Wakanda as much as we do, said Kevin. Uh, so they're going to be basically embarking on this journey to ensure that they craft every aspect, aspect excuse me, aspect of Wakanda, its technology, its heroes, and its, uh, sorry, their own original story with the attention and detail and authenticity that the world of Black Panther deserves. Um, so they basically want that they want uh, players, sorry, they want their game to enable players to feel what it's like to be worthy of the Black Panther mantle in a unique story driven way. Um, and they want Cliffhanger Games to empower everyone on their team as they collaborate to bring this amazing world to life. So, pretty interesting stuff there. Again, I don't know what we're going to see from this game. I really hope it's going to be, you know, amazing because a, a Black Panther story game sounds promising. Um, I feel like there's been some hit and miss a little bit with uh, you know some of the Marvel games that have come out. Obviously, Spider-Man by Insomniac has been fantastic. So, so good. Um, Avengers by Square, so-so. It you know, had some fun elements, um, but so-so, you know, in my opinion. And then beyond that, you know, we've had Guardians of the Galaxy, which I've yet to finish. I, I played it a little bit and I never got to finish it. I'll be honest. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just like casually stream it someday. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's some other games we've got to get you know, backtracked on first, but you know, there's a few different Marvel games that have come out. Um, some, some, you know, better than others, some, you know, all over the board, right? So it'd be interesting to see what Cliffhanger Games does with Black Panther and uh, how it kind of, you know, comes to fruition. I hope they, they, they nail it. I hope they execute it well. Uh, you know, all the best to them on this adventure. And I personally look forward to the day that they finally reveal this game and the day we finally get hands on, uh, you know, Lord willing, all goes as planned, of course. So uh, let me know what you guys hope to see from this Black Panther game and what, uh, you know, what, what would you like to see from it? Is there anything specific or you're not, you know, really particular about it? You just, hey, we'll see what when they reveal it. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the news today, my friends. Just a couple things to go over. If you enjoyed this one, like I said, leave a like, subscribe for more. We do a variety of gaming content here on the channel. You can check out all the socials, all the other stuff down in the description below. Like I said, we have a Nintendo channel that is exclusive for Nintendo, so you typically won't see Nintendo on this channel. That's for another channel because I love Nintendo and there's a lot of Nintendo content to be made and it would get overwhelming on one channel. So anyways, that's pretty much that. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon in another one. And until then, game on. See you guys later. Hey, you, what are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army. Do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is going to fade. That's inevitable. The next second of your life is not even promised. So you better think about where you're going. And you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kind of like you a little bit. So it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.